Hey. All right, guys, we're live. <laughs> Hi.
Hold on one second. Are we are we live? You're live. Oh, but, good. Um, the feed is um, not fantastic. All right. Well, as you may have guessed from our late arrival today, we are not getting great Wi-Fi signal. I'm sorry about that. Um, but we're going to keep on going because there's nothing else to do. We're here and we're playing. Uh, Riley, are people able to hear us? See us? They can um, see you um, a little bit. They can definitely mm -hmm. hear you, though. Okay. And we're, we're just a little fuzzy? You're quite fuzzy. One minute. Um, uh, we're getting some complaints about um, interrupting. Of okay. Will you guys please bear with us? We're going to do our best for you. And sometimes if the camera's fuzzy, you see that little button down there? That's what I press. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we gotta screw up some Ooh. harmonies. Oh, we are. You ready to screw up some harmonies? Yeah, are you ready to screw up some I'm harmonies? I'm ready to screw up some harmonies. <laughs> so, Riley, do me a favor, okay? If your feed stops, let me know, okay?
my gosh. Can you Shit. hand me that tuner? Ah, uh, oh. my jobby. Thank you very much. Woo! Oh, shit. How we doing out there? Alex, can you give me the yeah? banjo? <laughs> yes. They said they'll it. stick with us even if it's bad pictures. Even if it's horrible. We are bringing, <laughs> even if we are horrible looking, if we are horrible looking people, you'll still stick with us. All right. First time I dress yeah, up. Sweet. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, cool. Well, this is fun uh, because <laughs> this is the first you may... Uh, if you can see it through the fuzz and the blur, uh, this is the first time I have played this guitar in front of human beings in probably about 16 years or something. This was the very first guitar. Um, this is the very first guitar that I uh, ever bought to play out with. And it's been broken for a while. And, uh, and the other day I decided, you know what, I'm gonna just get it fixed up so I can play it again. Maybe leave it out in the desert so when I go out there I have a guitar to play out with. Um, and Riley, who is engineering us tonight, um, uh, grabbed this guitar yesterday and she brought it with her today. So thank you, Riley. Save the day. Save the day. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> All right, uh, so we've been talking about this a little bit, Gatherers. Uh, a new song for the band that is a contender for the album. It's a song called It Don't Land, and I've played it a couple times for you. Um, but we were working on it today, uh, and uh, we're going to see what happens. You guys ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, one, two, uh, one, two, three. Uh. Oh, 
somehow hold that house together and find a way to keep on earning. The bills they keep on coming, the bill it keeps on turning. Sometimes they find happiness, others they are sad. That freckled little girl's the dream they never thought they had. Yeah, we. Yeah, guys. <laughs> oh, man. They sound good, don't they? Isn't it cool that I get to play with the group of musicians that uh, can just figure stuff out and then make it sound really good right off the bat? Amazing. For those of you that are new to the gathering, maybe... Uh, you should know who these guys are that I'm hanging with. Over here on the bass, that's Poche Ponce. You can't see me, but I look great. <laughs> they all said that you do look amazing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> because they can't see me well. Oh, whoa. Oh. Um, that fella over here, that's Alex Martin. Uh, and uh, uh, we are in his place right now. Um, his place and Andrea's place who she is so sweet because she lets us come here and totally tear this place apart I mean our our equipment and stuff is everywhere right now uh, and uh, you know during during COVID times she's working from home she has to work around us all day long and she just never complains is always super sweet thank you Andrea um and back here on the fiddle, that's Karina Smith. Whoop, whoop. Uh, and banjo. Did you see around a banjo last last song? Yep. Yep. Uh, let's go because just I'm I'm capoed here. Uh, can we play uh, this one? Wait, what? Where? None of you can read my writing, anyways. No. But that one right there. Really? Where my toe is. I try to avoid okay. looking so at your toe. Devin. <laughs> yeah, Devin. <laughs> Din, din. <laughs> Dan and Dan. So, so I usually scratch out. So, A, I'm not used to writing set lists, right? But when I've been writing set lists for the right. gatherings, I'll scratch it out. I'm not really used to writing. <laughs> and I'll scratch it out in like my, my own uh, little shorthand or just bad writing. It looks like maybe. ancient runes. <laughs> And Karina pointed out that my, and it's weird because these all seem like pretty different letters for the most part. My Y's, my N's, my R's, my A's, my G's, and my H's all look, this, all look exactly the same when I write them. That's true. <laughs> um, yeah. What's up, what's up, my G's? <laughs> uh, this is one called Dynamite. Old school. They tell me I've got the eyes of my father Who gave his life fighting for the cause And they tell me I am destined for the calling Is 
shake the ground. Ground and I'm stopping for the final round. We have to go through the fight. And we'll win up in dynamite. I keep my courage. Quiet desperation For her there's nowhere I won't care to go And the moon And it will be the dream The cure on the faithful The legend that be mine No matter what I have to do Is shake the ground Success means they will get it loud and clear. And I walk this street to my final destination. With a martyr's rhythm coming, pounding in my ears. Dynamite. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I can't remember the last time we played that uh, as a band. I think George W. Bush was president. <laughs> the movie Titanic came out. The movie Titanic <laughs> came out. 97, Leo DiCaprio? <laughs> <laughs> you, you were in like third grade, Alex. <laughs> No, I was in third. Yeah, I was in third. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be. Uh, you were in third grade? Seven, yeah. I was seven in 97. Hey, at least I'm not Bobby. <laughs> <laughs> or Riley. Riley was not born in 1997, am I right? No, I was zero. Wow. You were zero. That's right. messed up. That is messed up. That's messed up. <laughs> okay. Sorry. <laughs> as long as you apologize for your youth, it's okay. Um, how are we doing? Are we still fuzzy and horrible? Oh, yeah. Okay. Coming to you fuzzy and horrible on a Friday night. Uh-huh. Um, well, I hope it's fun to hang with us even though we're fuzzy. Um, they say it is. All right. All right. All right. Um, let's play, uh, let's play Daniel. Okay. Whoa. We're making Karina play lots of different instruments tonight. No, 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 I want this guy. Oh, okay. The band. 
Uh, it's funny. This is... Karina and I were just saying this. You kind of always... I agree with you, what? by the way. I don't know. I kind of feel like this is kind of a an A-list for us, or it's been in the past. It has been at some times. For some reason, I feel like it often gets lost in the shuffle. Oh, that's what we look like. Oh, how are we? Horrible and fuzzy? Oh, we're the late we're we've been, yeah, We've looked uglier. <laughs> so, so. So, so. That's what we go for. sound like a locomotive. <laughs> uh, Karina's trying out a new uh, a new accordion part on this one. I'm using my left hand for the first time, to be honest. It's a big night. A lot of firsts. <laughs> There's a lot happening. We're all about time. firsts at the gatherings. She's using her left hand on the accordion. Woo. I've never... Those buttons scare me. I mean, look at those things. Could you there imagine... a lot of them. Could you imagine knowing what to press... Some people do. Well, the thing is, right, that all of these buttons look exactly the same. Yep. And the person who's playing the accordion is looking out that way. Ideally. That's messed up. <clears throat> I'm kind of enjoying playing this. All right. <laughs> Sorry. One, two, one, two, three, uh. I'm 
now me and Daniel, we tremble with the wind at our back. Sleeping out on freight beds, sharing bread from a pack. I don't know about religion, but I'd like to believe If there's a heaven, she's there with you for me But the trucks all drive fast, and the mileage is free I'm a man of love, it's the strangest creation Nice guys. There. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Alex, will you pass me that banjo? Mm -hmm. I'll just put this on the ground. Okay. And I'm gonna put this on the ground right over here. Can I do that? Awesome. Go clean, Dan. Uh, that was Daniel, and we're gonna try a song now called "Death I Own." And oh gosh, I don't think I've ever played this with you. Woo! Ever. Only without the band. I played it at the studio. In the hotel room. Like two years ago. Yeah, we're really gonna be uh, kind of. We're going to be kind of making this one up as we go along. We, this is going to be fun because, you know, we all kind of know the general structure of this song. But we have not worked out an arrangement. And so uh, as you're listening to us play, you're going to be hearing us kind of figure out how we're doing it together as we go. Um, Feed is crap. <laughs> It's funny, um, so the other day, right, uh, you guys got to see me do some gatherings, one with Poche and then one with Karina. When I was over at Karina's house playing, uh, she wrote a song on a banjo. Uh, she wrote a song on Not a banjo. <laughs> uh, right. But on a banjo, like a traditional banjo. This is actually not that. And I know it's like a little bit confusing, but uh, because it looks like a banjo and it sounds a lot like a banjo, but actually, believe it or not, this is strung with six strings and tuned like a guitar. So it plays... <laughs> This whole time. <laughs> this whole time. A fraud. Um, so, you know, there are some people that would, uh, that would be, uh, that would be not too impressed uh, with a guy playing a banjo-like instrument that's not really a banjo. Uh, I tend to be of the belief and mindset that if you can make sound out of a thing, then you can write songs on the thing and you can perform songs on the thing. Uh, I love playing the guitar and I love finger picking and I love the sound of me doing those things on this banjo-like instrument. So we call it a banjo, uh, but really it's kind of a cross between a guitar and a banjo. I thought that might be interesting to you. Um, how do you want to start? Should I just start? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> he says, Speed is your crown. Relax, won't you try it?
I screwed up my entire band on Karina's solo section. <laughs> it's true. It's funny, right? Even the first time through a song or the second time through a song, when these guys are holding on by the seats of their pants, uh, they are still nine times out of ten more consistent players than I am. And that's actually... That's a really good thing. That's what I strive for, right? There is no better thing for me as a songwriter and as a performer than to surround myself with musicians that are super intimidatingly talented and push me to be a better player all the time. And uh, and that's these guys. That's why I love making music with them. That's why I miss playing with them for so mm. so long. Shut up. <laughs> uh, all right. Should we do another challenge, guys? Come on. What is it? Work out. Um, <laughs> well, I think I know what it is. What's um, the challenge? <laughs> the liver? Yeah. So, uh, for those of you who have been gathering with me a bunch over the past months, especially during my time out in California, I've been sharing a song that I wrote out of it out there inspired by um, Allie's in my little desert home and Allie and uh, being up in those in those mountains they call it the high desert where our little cabin is and uh, so I wrote a song oh can you see if my tuners connected that banjo it is <clears throat> I wrote a song called high desert woman that I have been really like I just loved I've been loving playing it for for you all uh, it's like a fun song for me to sing and it's new for me and so I'm still kind of in a honeymoon phase period with it 
Um, I get really excited on request night when I land on a high desert woman request and I, and I get to play it for you. So I thought that while we were kind of just reviewing some songs that we hadn't worked on for a while and some songs that we have never worked on before, um, that we would try High Desert Woman today. And so we've been playing around with it a little bit. It's still, uh, it's still just an idea. You know, we talk about, uh, we talk a lot in the, uh, in, in these live streams, right? At these gatherings about how some of the really old songs that I share are kind of more like sketches than like finished paintings, right? And the same, I think about it the same way with arrangements, with band arrangements. Sometimes in the beginning of us learning a song together, we have ideas and we've kind of come together and those ideas are starting to work, but we haven't quite, there's still, it's still a sketch. It's like black and white. We haven't filled in the colors yet, you know? And uh, what, a, uh, what a treat and a gift to be in such a comfortable place that we can share a sketch with you before it's finished. If we were touring, if this were a normal year and we were touring and we were spending our time performing on stages, we would, we would, we'd be a ways away from feeling comfortable sharing this song. Uh, but, uh, but the gatherings are something different and that, uh, that's pretty cool. So anyways, this is, this is called High Desert Woman. Oh, we're going to start together. Sure. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Okay. I want to be a do do. <clears throat> to keep the stained letter. I should have known better. Mile 27 down Palm 29. A juniper eyes, a coyote smile, like rust on a sunrise, old leather on pain. And I fell in love with the hot desert.
who's that? <laughs> nice solo. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I think we should do one more I fell in love at the end of that thing, maybe. I'm Did not sure. Did you miss one? No. 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 no, that was it. I miss the return of the four chord, though. I, I liked ending that song not on the one. Not on the... Yeah. 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 Fell in love. The way that you used to do it. Yeah? Well, let's play around with it some more. Yeah. Um, okay, so I have a question for you gatherers about this song, okay? So, um, so songs, just like paintings, right, go through different stages. And there's a sketch stage, right? This arrangement for us is a little bit in sketch stage. But the song feels like it's traveled beyond the sketch stage for me. It feels like it's getting close to like where I want it. You may notice that when I started playing this song, if you've been at all of the gatherings, which I know some of you people have, uh, uh, the, ta the tag, the thing we call the tag or the hook, is this thing where I'm going, you know, I fell in love I fell in love So I've been kind of refining how I want to do that, like, right? And I've been kind of refining how I like the choruses to feel and how the guitar should feel and how I want to present the verses. And for me, a lot of that comes from just repetition playing it for people and connecting a song to other human beings it helps me take a song from sketch to final painting and it's actually kind of cool because you gathers were the first ones to hear me play this song i think and so uh so you're kind of you're kind of watching this song develop right um but i do have a question that i would call like you know kind of one of the finer details of the song uh, questions the last line of the chorus I think is an important line it's always an important line right in any song a chorus is a really important part and the last line of the chorus is really important um, and I am stuck between two different lines one is she's perfect to me and the other is she's perfect for me and they both if you think about it, they don't really make a big difference right there are a lot of people that don't care a lot about lyrics that would say yeah it's kind of the same thing right but the line is uh you know and and the song is about this right this 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 kind of like right there are a lot of songs i think written about traditionally like beautiful perfect angelic women right and this character right uh, is not that at all. She's the opposite of angelic, right? And uh, uh, so, um, you know, the, the lines are, she'll dance like an angel, swear like a trucker. She's nothing but trouble. She's perfect to me. She's perfect for me. If she's perfect to me, that means that's, you know what? I didn't even know it, but that's exactly what I want. She's perfect to me. And the other might be, she's perfect for me. I'm just as messed up as she is, and so we're perfect for each other, right? Maybe it's a subtle difference. Maybe it doesn't matter. But these are the things that I think about in the final stages of songwriting. So would love to get your opinions, whether it should be, she's perfect to me, she's perfect for me. I once had a, uh, a producer in a studio when we were like really, really uh, like killing ourselves over these like little fine details of the song, he, he said, you know what? Is it gonna affect gross sales? <laughs> and we said, no. He's like, then you probably shouldn't worry about it too much. Mm. Uh, uh, <laughs> Fonte didn't like that. Karina hard. didn't like that either. <laughs> you like four? On. <laughs> <laughs> that would sell more. <laughs> oh, that's it. She's perfect on me. That's it. Uh, <laughs> sell more. Uh huh. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's a totally different song. I like it. What'd you think? Two. Strong vote number two. She's perfect for me. Yeah. What about you? 
I would concur. Although I have eight opinions, so <laughs> there's not enough time for us to get through this right now. To me sounds like a pedestal. For me sounds like you're both in it. Mm. I like, it. I like that. That's no kind of cool. Huh. I like that. Thank you. See? All right. Uh, did you all hear that? You should say it again a little bit louder, <laughs> just in case, because it was well, a good point. I'm happy to be disagreed with in the comments, but to me it feels like she's perfect to me. Sounds like he's putting her on a little bit of a pedestal. Even though he, he agrees that she does all these things, he still thinks she's perfect. She's perfect for me is like they're both messed up in really awesome ways that complement each other. I like that better. Hmm. That sounds a little like me and Allie. <laughs> <laughs> um, thank you guys for hanging out. This is a uh, this is a, as you know, huge treat for me to get to play with my gang here. And uh, and now that I'm back from California, uh, uh, where we we decided that uh, we were going to allow ourselves to share stages together, and that was a big decision for us to do. And uh, and. So, uh, and since getting back, we have been playing a bunch together, as a lot of you know. Most of the times we've played together, actually, we've hung out with you in some form or another at a gathering. Um, um, so there's going to be, there's going to be a lot, a lot more of these sessions in one form or another. And, uh, and a lot more adventures to come. And it's just, it just feels good. It feels good to have a whole community of people along for the ride with us, you know? Let's sing a song. Raise up your glasses Let us drink tea it our backs. May it always blow steady wherever you roam. May it turn when you're ready to carry you home. May it keep you ahead of the night. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the heavens above. Some say it's a glimpse of God's great design. Some say it's the science of all things combined. May we look up and always feel wonder. Here is to us and all that we see. Here's to our hearts and the air that we breathe. Here's to up your glasses Woo. let us drink to this time that we have for these moments pass lightly come again may our lives all burn brightly right up to the end may we live them with joyous land raise up your glasses Let us drink to the end of the day Let us drink to the work When the working is through Let us drink one to make Let us drink one to hear Let us drink one to those who aren't with us Here is to us And all that we see to our hearts in the air that we breathe. Here's to a lamp in good company. Here's to the future. Here's to the past. Let 
Let us drink one down slow. Let us drink one down fast. Let us drink one as if this night is our day. Big shout out to our friend Riley hanging out with us. Uh, she's been commenting as Adam Ezra Group on our computer tonight. How's it going over there? It's good. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Riley came out on her first like serious weekend with us at Tupelo, and uh, and she killed it. For those of you that were there, you know how good it sounded out in that parking lot. Um, so the four of us are pretty damn excited about the future with Riley. She's just beginning with us. And uh, so that's that's a pretty cool thing. Um, I am not sure who is on as uh, Rally Sound tonight, but thank you very much for helping out. Thanks to our friends at Well Told uh, for supporting what we do. Um, it's been a fun, it's been a fun Friday night. Uh, I am, uh, we're all parting ways for the weekend after this. And, uh, and I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'm gonna jump in the van with Allie, actually, and uh, and we're gonna find a quiet little spot where we can maybe be out in the woods together a little bit. So, uh, so I'll be coming to you from parts unknown. I'm not sure yet. Uh, over the next couple days, and uh, have some fun surprises for you planned next week. And, uh, Hanging with these guys some more, but I also have some other guest artists that are going to show up at the gatherings that I'm really excited to be sharing with you. So, lots of fun stuff coming up. <laughs> um, please uh, stay safe. Keep on looking out for one another. And uh, I will see you tomorrow. And we'll see you soon. <laughs> I heard a rumor that we got cut off before we could play the toast tonight. We can't have that. We have come too far, gatherers. Raise up your glasses. <laughs> Let us drink tea in the wind at our back. It always blows steady wherever you roam. May it turn when you're ready to carry you home. May it keep you ahead of the rain. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the heavens above. Some say it's a glimpse of God's great design. Some say it's the science of all things combined. May we look up and always feel wonder. Here is to us and all that we see. Here's to our hearts and the air that we breathe. Here's to a man, good company. Here's to the drink that we share. <laughs> Raise up your glasses. And let us drink to this time that we have. For these moments pass like they won't come again. May our lives all burn brightly right up to the end. May we live them with joyous abandon. Raise up your glasses. Let us drink to the end of the day. Let us drink to the work when 
the working is through. Let us drink one to me. Let us drink one to you. Let us drink one to those who aren't with us. Here is to us and all that we see. Here's to our hearts, the air that we breathe. Here's to a man, good company. Here's to the future, here's to the past. Let us drink one down slow, let us drink one down fast. Let us drink one as if this night is our last. <laughs> here's to the drink that we share. Ah, here's to the drink that we share. <laughs> okay. I feel better now. <laughs> uh, please stay safe. Keep on looking out for each other. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>